Good morning, survivors, and welcome back to the long dark. We are picking up right about where we left off here at Granny Graymother's, and we'll just slept through the night. It is now early morning, and the sun is on the rise, and Graymother is up and awake, and Adam, as usual. Good morning, Graymother. How are you? Anything you want to share with us today? No, apparently not. She gave us Lily's pearls that were found inside of the safe deposit box that we got for her in the last episode at the bank. And now she would like us to do one last thing for her, and that is vi visit Lily's grave marker. And uh, Lily, I'm pretty sure, is her daughter right here. I think that's a picture of her. And uh, as far as I can tell, she died in a, uh, a climbing accident, and Granny has let us use her climbing gear that we found up in her bedroom so we can climb out of here and maybe catch up to um, to Astrid. But we're not going to do that yet. We're going to go do this one last thing for Granny, which is over here at the church. And then while we're there, we can check on this Milton supply cache. And if we still have time today, we can go over to the bridge and look for these uh, emergency supplies. But I don't know if we're going to have time for all that. We'll see. So before we go, actually, I would like to cook up some chow. So we have this um, amazing um, well-fed benefit right now. Can we put that right in there, the whole can? Yeah. Yeah, so last night, well, I was doing some off-camera work in real life last night. <laughs> and um, I got this well-fed benefit. I've never seen this before. This is new with the Redux. So well-fed food and drink. You've managed to prevent starvation for 72 consecutive hours. You're full of energy and can carry more gear. You're also better able to face the physical trials ahead. Your condition is increased as a result. So yeah, we got an increase in health down here. And check out our uh, carry capacity is now plus 11 pounds, up to 77 pounds. That's amazing. So I did look it up on the internet, on the interwebs, and I've discovered that we we just have to avoid starvation in our belly here uh, for 72 hours straight. And we should have this as long as we don't starve. So yeah, we wanna make sure that we stay uh, stay fed and hydrated. Well, I'm not sure hydration makes any difference, but uh, we are gonna go ahead and have a soda this morning. And we will eat this can of pork and beans. As soon as it's ready, let's just pass the time. There we go, nice and hot. And eat it. Mm -mm. Full belly and nice and warm. Oh, yeah. I don't know how cold it is out there, but we shall be ready. And we'll drink a little water, too. Pare down the pack some. Don't need to carry all that water with us. We're not going too far. All right, Granny, we're going to go now, okay? We're going to go visit Lily's grave, just like you asked. And we shall deliver those pearls for her. And we'll be back. So stay right here. Don't go away. Let's do it. Whew. It's a little chilly. But... At least it's not snowing. So yeah, this is going to be fantastic. What a beautiful day for travel. Now, let's get that... Um, let's get our one weapon out. Just in case there's a wolf around. I know they're out here somewhere. Usually over by the church. So we have to be cautious on this trip. Until we find a rifle or a flare gun. This is all we have to defend ourselves. From hungry canines. So, yeah, the church isn't too far. Oh, I hear him already. You hear it? Howling, but it sounds like it's pretty far away. Like down the river this way. So that shouldn't be any trouble for us. Though in my experience, there are lots of wolves right here on this road. Right over here. Where the log cutters cut the wood. Right around here. And let me know if you see any rabbits, because we have a side quest to snare a rabbit with that snare we found at the farm. As far as I know, we don't have to actually harvest it. We just have to put the snare out and catch it, and that will qualify. All right, let's check the trunk now that we have our crowbar. Oh, oh, I always do that. Open it up, Will, all the way. I could use this. Cotton Duke. Well, not really. You already have that. All right, in we go. I don't see anything in here. Check the... No! Do not pop that! Drop it. <laughs> that was too close. No! What's the key to drop everything? Just drop everything. I think it's, it's H. Yeah, H. Okay. It's different in every game. Empty. All right, nothing on the floor in here. Out we go. 
Let's just check the back. Just in case we had any sloppy children back here. Nope, nothing. Oh. That sounds pretty close. Might even be getting closer. Could be getting hunted here. Just a bunch of pallets. We can break those down for wood if we ever need to, but I doubt it. I don't think we're going to be around in Milton much longer, or even in Mountain Town area. What? Oh, that's a wolf. Coming right at us. Oh, yes, he is. I heard him before I saw him. I heard little foots. We're going to hide out right in here. I'm going to hide out right in here. Get in. And keep quiet. Shh. Pass right by. Oh, oh. Uh, did he see us get in here? There he goes. Keep walking, hero. If you know what's good for you, I'll turn you into a mitten, I will. Or a hat. Or shoes or something. Oh. Oh, boy. He's following our trail. <laughs> he smelled us right to the car. But we doubled back, and we will fool him. And that maybe will send him back to Milton, right? I don't know. I, I lost him. Well, there he goes. Heading back down the road toward the church, of course, right? It is cold in here. Even with that warming up, we're still losing temperature. All right, he's heading in the other direction. Let's give him a little bit of space. And then we're going to go for it. All right, he's turning. Turning to the right. Going toward the woods. Lost a human, hopefully. All right, let's do it. Let's go out the passenger side. And get down. There's the wolfy tracks. I don't see him anymore. He's behind one of those banks. Oh, no, he's over by the car. Okay. Is he going away? He's going away. All right. So far, so good. We haven't had any encounters with wolves up close and personal. Oh, no, there goes our warming up has expired. Will's going to start to get cold faster. I mean, it looks like a nice day, but it is cold. Although the sun just, the sun's gone now. So we're not getting the the heat from the sun. Oh, dang, Wolf just turned around. And he's coming back this way. I don't want to get too far from the car. Because we can still hide inside the car, but we can't sit out here forever. we got to keep moving. All right, I don't think he sees us. All right, he's heading back down toward Milton. Good. Let's get to that church. Duck inside and warm up. Can probably sprint from here and outrun him. <laughs> Maybe we have a bit of a head start. Yeah, here we go. It's right here. It looks a lot farther on the map. Anyway, I was saying if we see a, uh, any bunnies running around, we can put that snare out. We'll check that truck in a minute. Well, let me just look in the bed. Ah, uh, heck, just do it while we're here. Just do it while we're here. Man, it's dark inside. I can't see anything. Nothing in the glove box, and I don't feel anything on the floor. Never anything in the visors, whatevs. All right, that wolf is still sticking around, so let's go. Let's get this done. Up we go. No wolves out front. Okay, we're good. Inside. Hello? St. Christopher's Church. Anybody here? There's nobody here. I dropped that flare. Ah, okay, nice and warm in here, fortunately. Let's see if there's any clothing hanging up that we could snatch up. I am going to take this right here. We get one cloth. It's only four minutes. Yeah, breaking down clothing, which I did a lot of off camera between last episode and this one to fix up a lot of Will's clothing, which I have done, takes a lot of time. I mean, it takes like 20 minutes to break down a pair of socks. And it's a lot less time breaking down curtains and things. Is that just a regular book? Handy. It's just a regular book. Well, I'll grab that because I only have one on me. And by the way, the book in the banker's um, house, a lot of people said I forgot a book or I missed a book in his bedroom. Turns out that book is just a regular book for burning. It's not one of those training guides. I did watch the video and I verified that, but keep those comments coming. They are very helpful because I sure do miss a lot of things. <laughs> But in that case, um, it was just a regular Bernie book. Some cloth. Just don't want to miss anything here in the pews. 
Lots of stuff in here left behind, like this soda. Right. Anything in here that I missed? No, we're good. So we got a nice burnt out campfire here, a bunch of books we can burn. But that's about it. I'd love some gear. Can't have too much water. Can't have too much water. Flare is very nice. Can't have enough flares, since that's all we have to defend ourselves with, as mentioned several times. <laughs> and a pastor's note. Let's read it. Dear parishioners, it is with a heavy heart that I inform you of the Archdiocese's decision to withdraw me from St. Christopher's Parish due to lack of activity. Though there have never been more than a few of you in recent years, your dedication to the church and support of my efforts here will not be forgotten. Henceforth, services will be available via Skype only. <laughs> Continued Latin lessons also. Please accept my apologies. God bless Father Francis McGill. Using the internet to good advantage. I like it. Take it. We might as well take it, as someone has mentioned in the comments. Just take all the notes. They don't actually weigh anything, so that makes sense. All right. No guns? Flare guns, rifles, bow and arrows, nothing like that, huh? We do have a bed here we can snooze in if need be. Um, we, we are pretty cold. I'm wondering if we should just whip up a quick fire. I mean, we got plenty of stuff here. Yeah, let's just do it. It's not going to take very long. We should be able to do this indoors. We'll warm up quick and maybe make another drink. Get our warming up benefit because we have a long way to go still. And there we go, Will. Nice work, brother. Add some fuel. Some reclaimed wood. An hour and 21. And we'll heat right up. Oh, oh gosh, look at all this I missed here. Accelerant. Oh, more matches. I'm going to grab another book to replace that one. Is that a note right there? Sheesh, I missed all kinds of stuff. It's a hymnal. Um, in Latin. Well, some of it anyway. Okay. I'll just, um, I'll take it. <laughs> you guys can pause the video and read it if you wish. Sing along. Whatever. Let's get by that fire and warm up. I don't think, we don't really need to eat or drink, but, I mean, why not make a quick coffee? It will give us the warming up effect, right? So let's do it. It's only eight minutes. Pass the time and drink it hot. Mmm. Delicious. Ah. So we have warmed up, and our fatigue has been uh, reduced somewhat. One last look around, and let's boogie. I'm going to grab one more book, just in case we get stuck out in the wild and we have to start a fire. All right. All right, out we go, back into the cold Canadian wilderness. Oh, should have got my weapon out. <laughs> just in case. I do recall being ambushed right here one time by a wolf. I mean, walked right out the door and it was sitting there waiting. Nasty little critter. All right, let's find Lily. This is Ryan Smith, 1967 to 1984. Young man, too young, too young indeed. So the um, this cache is right over here. Let's go check the cache first. I'm pretty sure Lily is on the other side anyway in the little... um. There's a little cemetery on the other side of the road. Let's see. Right up here into the mountains. Watch out for that wolf. Because he was heading in this direction, sort of, wasn't he? Gonna have to keep referring to the map. So, oh, there it is. I see it. I see something unnatural. Something unnatural right here. Oh, it's an ammo box. <laughs> here, it <is. laughs> here it is. Lantern fuel and an emergency stem. Oh, those are lifesavers. All good stuff. Military grade MRE. That's a great find. Oh, I see bunny wabbits. And I see deer. Fantastic. Let's do our camp crafty thing. And we're going to put this snare out right over here. Hold on, bunny. There you go. You come check it out. It's pretty cool, guys. Just stick your head right in that little loop. And get a nice surprise. All right, we don't even have to see it or hear it or anything. We're just going to know what happens, apparently, automatically. We'll get the update and uh, meet the conditions of that particular quest. Pretty cool stuff. All right, we might as well go check this car before we head to the cemetery. I hear creaking. 
It's just trees. All right, I'm going to put that down. Oh, I see another flare inside the car. Nice. That's beautiful. Oh, two of them. One up on the dash. Check that glove box. Nothing. Nothing on the floor. And I know, I know, I always look in those things. <laughs> I can't help myself. I'm a survivor. Gotta look everywhere. Gotta have hope. It's the only thing that keeps us going. And, oh, this trunk is not even locked. How lovely. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Another flare. And open the hood. We done checked it. All right. Get that flare out. We have six flares now. All right. That's pretty good. So we can defend ourselves at least six times. <laughs> I don't think there's any wolves over here, but you never can tell. Oh, graveyard, yeah. Oh, oh, that's Liam. I saw the L. All right, let's find this quick because the wolves are on our heels. Emily Camp, 1963 to 1981. Well, wow, people don't live here very long, do they? They don't live long here is what I should say. <laughs> <laughs> Not like they move away. <laughs> 1960 to 1985, Jessica Roy. Yeah, wow, these people die in, in their 20s. What the heck? Something fishy going on here. Where is Lily? Oh, there she is. Oh, uh, Lilith Barker, 1969 to 1985. Let's place those pearls way before her time. Makes me sad. There you go, Lily. Your mom sent us. She misses you. She misses you. Yeah, we hope you don't mind, Lily, but your mom let us take your climbing gear because it might save our lives and help us find our dearly beloved Astrid. Thank you, and rest in peace, Lily. Goodbye. Let's go. Now. Now what? Oh, there's that wolf looking around. Which way to go, he's thinking. Ah, boy. Okay, I guess how much time do we have? Oh, we still have a lot of daylight. So Oh Man, let's go inside. It's really cold. It's still cold. I think our fire is probably still going Let's warm up at st. Christopher's. Oh, no, it's out. Is it out? It's embers. <gasps> Can we get it going again? Can we get it going again? Let's add some fuel. Yes Whew. All right, good that's really cool that the embers are still there in the fire and you can get it going again easily without uh, restarting the whole thing again. So we'll warm up here and I think we might be able to make it to the bridge. I know it looks like a really long way, but we thought the same thing about the farm. I mean, it looked like it was like five minutes. So this is maybe a eight minute walk, <laughs> maybe 10, uh, depending on what's on the way. <laughs> If there's wolves in our path, it could be a lot longer. But, uh, well, we shall see. I might break something down and grab some wood. Nine minutes with our hatchet. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Could use a little more wood. Have some reclaimed with us, just in case we need to get a fire going out in the wild. All right, that's about it. Guess it's time to go. How are we doing for weight? Ah, plenty. Plenty more capacity now that we have that extra weight limit. All right, out we go. Boo! Nothing. Okay. <laughs> so I'm wondering if we should try to cut through the woods or stick to the path. Stick to the path, stay off the moors. Um, I think that's probably good advice. Let's just stick to the path. It's not that much roundabout. And I don't want to get lost in these woods. Oh, boy. Oh, I don't like these logs on the side of the road. There's no way to climb up in case there's a wolf here. We'll get trapped. There's no jumping in this game. Never has been. But we can run anyway. Oh, we, we just saved for some reason. Just an auto save. I don't like the sound of that. Could mean something's going to be triggered here. Something funky. I don't know. I don't see anything yet. I do see a sign. Let's go read that sign. It is nice having this map, I'll tell you. In the survival, you have to actually find charcoal and map it out yourself. It takes like 15, 20 minutes every time you stop and do that. 
And you're very vulnerable, obviously. Oh boy. Wolfie. Now what is this way? There's nothing there. It kind of looks like a path, but not really. Seems like the temperatures have risen a little bit. It's not quite as cold. Only one down arrow instead of three. <laughs> Got a little roadblock here. Don't like this either. I don't like things that hamper my ability to move. All right, watch your head, Will. There we go. That's a good lad. All right, let's keep moving. Do not run. Save your energy. And what is that stim pack again? Does this have a special key I can just whack and stick it in? Because that'll give us a boost of energy. We can run, like, super fast. But then you get drained completely. I think literally it drains your uh, all of your fatigue. And that's it for the day. <laughs> oh, there's a wolf eating his meal right up ahead on the road. So we are just going to go right around. Sounds like the wind might be kicking up a, a tad. I don't like that much, unless that's just a waterfall. That could be a waterfall. Check the map. Yeah, maybe that's that waterfall right there making all that noise. Some old man's beard. We might want to grab some. Looks like there's plenty here. Hold on, what was that? I see like a lump. Ah, it's a stump. Killer stump. Now, I wonder if there's mooses in the story mode. They could be nasty. Gotta keep our eyes open for the mooses. This stuff is good for various things here in the wild. So we'll grab a little bit of it. Make like a poultice with it, I think. All right, we're gonna avoid the road if possible because that wolf is right over there. And just go right around. I don't think we have any reason to kill a bunny rabbit right now, do we? I mean, he's coming right at us. He's almost asking for it. <laughs> yes, he is. We don't have any stones. Let the poor little critter live. We don't have any need for his meat. Maybe we could turn his pelts into some mittens or something. That would be cool, but I don't feel like we need that right now. How close are we? All right. It's a little farther than I had expected. So... We might have to hustle a little bit. I might want to sprint a tiny bit. Oh, wait, there's a like a cave over here. I remember this. Getting some deja vu here, Will. Let's go check it out. Yes. There's a little alcove in here. A little secret grotto. Watch yourself now, Will. Make sure there's no bears around or anything. Okay, there might not be anything here in the story mode. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, hold up, though. We got... We have some feather. Oh, this is stick. Uh, sticks. We'll take a couple of sticks. It's a nice shelter, if need be. Shelter from the wind. But nothing else here. I don't see any stashes or carcasses or anything. Okay, well. I guess my memory is not serving me well today. Yeah, nothing there. And it's getting super foggy again. Visibility is bad. Temperatures aren't too bad, however. But I think that bridge is getting close. Alright, what do we got here? Check that glove box. We're warming up inside the car right now because it's actually warmer than it is outside. It's not too bad outside, so you can warm up in the cars as long as the temperature outside isn't brutal. So maybe we should sit here for a moment. Check that map. Yeah, we're almost there. And how about the sunshine? Yeah, we got plenty of light. Plenty of light. So we're going to sit here and warm up just for a minute or two. And then we'll go. Maybe have a little bite to eat. I don't want to lose that warming up benefit, the um, well-fed benefit. So we'll have an energy bar. I mean, I think it's really hard to lose it once you get it. Literally, you have to starve yourself. <laughs> And that's not going to happen here in Milton. There's just so much food. You know what? There's going to be cars there at the bridge, so if we need to warm up, we can do that there. All right, let's do it. Can't see anything there. 
Got a tree across the road. Watch your flanks. Never know when them sneaky little wolves are gonna sneak up on you. Just be ready to run. Put that stim in thigh and run like Forrest Gump. And do not stop. Okay, we're right there. You can hear the water. So close. So close. This is usually when it happens, right? <laughs> this is when the wolf strikes. Just before you reach your destination. Very good. I see a truck. I see a bridge. Now, now we just... to find that secret stash. I was just about to say that, Will. You have to steal the highlight every time, don't you? The limelight. The highlight. <laughs> Always stealing my limelight. Let's check. Let's check for that stash. I think it's going to be in a vehicle? I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Love those Christmas trees. Anything in the back here? Oh! Aha. Aha. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Peanut butter? And it's not even the chunky kind. Two of them. I mean, you'd think they'd get a little variety and get one chunky, one smooth. Little cow, two little cows. <gasps> Dude! Will! Flare gun! And some flares! Holy smokes, that was good. And a ragged old fashioned parka. Very, very heavy, but maybe we can fix that up. Windbreaker. Wow! That was insane. That was a good find. All right, let's get our little gun out. Reload it. Will's getting cold now. I know, buddy, but think about what you just found. How nice. How nice indeed. Wow, he's got a little spring in his stride right now. He's zipping along. <laughs> All right, let's check the rest of these cars while we're here. Do not shoot that flare off by accident inside the car. That would be terrible. We'd probably get a nice uh, explosion. All right, this is great. So great. All right, temperatures outside still aren't too bad. We can always get inside of a car and a warm up. This stuff will come in handy. Quick flame is excellent. I don't want that hood. We're done here. Check the next one. I don't like having that gun out when I'm poking at things. <laughs> I don't think we need the shoes, but the leather could be useful. As long as we can carry it. Oh, 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 oh. Could barely see that. It blended right in. Yeah, it had a little camouflage. Same color. That toque as the seat. What was that? Did you hear something? Or was that just my imagination? Maybe a branch fell off a tree? Yeah, that's all. Just a branch falling off of a tree. Just keep telling yourself that, Will. <laughs> I seem to recall a bear at this bridge one time in a past life. Don't see him around now, though. Unless he's sneaking up behind. What's that? Oh, cedar firewood, yeah. See, that's what I'm looking for in these beds, but it's hard to see. It was under the snow. It was buried. Cloth. All right, we might have to sit in a car and warm up a little bit while we have an opportunity and then make a run for grannies. What time is it? Yeah, the sun is actually dropping now. It's not dropping fast or anything, but it's going down. Oh, oh, it's a rock. Ah, I thought that was a bear <laughs> right there. I'm so edgy right now. So scary. Crunchy stuff. I hear a wolf. Could end up being useful. Could end up being useful. All right, and finally the back seat and the trunk, and then we'll just sit here in this car. Maybe we'll sit in the car at the other end. Oh, I don't like forcing these open. It takes too long. Okay, we got it right this time, though, at least. Is it food or? Ski boats? My gosh, they're nearly nine pounds. You're not going to be walking around with those, believe me. They really don't make any sense. But you know what? We're not heavy, so we'll bring them. If we get heavy, we'll drop them. There's really no point in wearing those things. We're going to go into the truck. We want to be on this side of the bridge when we warm up. Eh, might as well get in the driver's seat, right? Oh, no, put that down. I want to be able to see as we get out of here. All right, let's get inside. And let's let that temperature rise a bit. And then we're going to boogie. <sighs> no any good uh, ghost story? No, don't forget it. Oh, ghost stories. 
Do you have any happy stories? Happy stories. Happy stories only. <laughs>